Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at brooksanddavis.com or call 713-665-8329. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Ladies, are you looking to learn more about football? Well, go out today and grab your copy of the Grasberry Gridiron Guide. It's the perfect comfort book with quick tips on football, fan life, and tailgating. Just go to thegrasberry.com and grab your copy today. Are you an inspiring entrepreneur? Or maybe you're an entrepreneur looking to take your business to the next level. My name is Larry W. Brooks, and I am the author of Empowering Quotes for the Entrepreneur in You and the Entrepreneur Code. In these two books, I guarantee you there's success secrets that will take your business to the next level. I personally invite you to visit LarryWBrooks.com. Go under the books link and purchase your signed personal copy from myself. You have a great day and have an awesome 2020. Pure Hustle is not only a clothing brand, but it is a movement. I personally invite you to visit shoppurehustle.com. How do you survive? Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on social media, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. And if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in commercial or residential real estate anywhere in the great state of Texas, but especially here in the lovely city of Houston, please stop by our website at brooksanddavis.com. As always, man, I'm having a great day. We have a really exciting and invaluable show lined up for you today, man. As always, my co-host is not only a Texas real estate broker, a multi-time author, serial entrepreneur, but he's known globally as the Texas real estate okay, king. Okay. Man, back from parts <laughs> okay. unknown. I want to introduce parts unknown. Look, I can't put your business out there, brother. Back from parts unknown. I want to introduce our audience, my co-host, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, bro? Hey, hey, hey. Appreciate that, Ricky. Come on, man. Look, wild applause, man. Hey, the Astros yeah. ain't going to get no applause that loud. Hey, hey, Astros does don't deserve that applause. Oh, man. man that, that's set up for the beezy, man. Come hey, on. Hey, man. Come on now, man. <laughs> like that. What's been up, bro? How you been, man? How your week been going? Man, things are going. Week has been good, man. I enjoy it. Uh, just, just hanging out, chilling, man. Got a special guy. Got our, our special guest that are on the show today, and then I also have my young LB decide to join us at City in the day too. So you know, yeah, I said good. LB gaining inches. Yeah, getting a little bit taller than the last time I seen him. Just a little bit. I don't, don't don't get him going too much now. Hey, I was checking out his tennis shoes early. They look like they about my size. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt about and that. Now we get to so what they say. We got to start swapping. Hey, swapping the trade. Hey, man. if I ever need a pair that's not <laughs> clean, I just grab his. Oh, you can grab his <laughs> shoes now, man. <laughs> It's good to have everybody in the building this week, man. Uh, today's episode is really exciting, Larry, because, you know, there's a lot of times where, especially if you live in suburban areas, you'll see new strip centers getting built. All the time. And then you'll start seeing new companies, new businesses and stuff like that. And you always wonder, what does it take That's right. for me to be in that new strip center in the suburban area where I stay? So I'm really, really excited to introduce this week's guest to the audience. Mm -hmm. um, Prime Real Estate Network family, this week, we have two franchise owners with Smoothie King. They have also founded Sisters and More LLC. And as the name suggests, not only are they related, but they are actually sisters. So <laughs> without any further ado, I would like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, Miss Alexis and Sade Moore. How you doing, ladies? Hi, doing great. How are you all? Thank not you. Not that that intro was long. Right? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, know? you for having us. Hey, so thank you, ladies, for sitting in, man. Um, I want to get straight to it because, like I was telling Larry earlier, we don't have as much time with you ladies as we would like to get all of the pertinent questions out. So I don't want to waste any time. When you ladies were thinking about investing in a franchise, mm -hmm. what was it specifically about Smoothie King that attracted you ladies from an investment entrepreneurial standpoint? We're, um, I would like to say that we're um, 
just healthy family, right? Oh, okay. We both went to school on full basketball scholarship. She went on a softball scholarship. So we, we've always been in that healthy realm. So and then we always knew we wanted to eventually work for ourselves. Right. So it was like we wanted to invest with something that actually stands for who we are. And at that time, I was doing fitness shows, competitions, yeah. muscle, uh, like the Muscle Mania bodybuilding shows. And it was just like, sister, what do you want to do with your life? And she said, let's do a I Smoothie like, King. I was like, let's do a Smoothie King. Now, you know, it's funny. Cause, uh, <laughs> no, no, because, you know, especially in interviews, there's always like times where I like to slide in cool little tidbits like that. Yeah. But since mm-hmm. you brought it up but. early, <laughs> when I was doing my research, especially not only into you ladies' uh, corporation, but also into you guys' personal and professional backgrounds, I noticed that... You, especially you, Miss Alexis, have done a lot of work in the fitness realm, Mm -hmm. not only as a participant, but also as an entrepreneur from that standpoint. So I can only believe that that passion and then all the things that go into trying to excel in the athletic realm just led you to take nutrition, what you put Mm -hmm. into your body a lot easier. Now, I want to ask this question to Miss Sade because I don't know if you were into the fitness realm as much as your sister was so when you decided to talk to your sister about investing in a smoothie king were you coming from the same place of like nutrition fitness or is you like me i'm just a smoothie fanatic that's just one of my things (laughs) no i was i was pretty much coming from the same place i mean the smoothie king's motto is to live a healthy and active lifestyle and growing up like our our dad pushed us as uh, far as living a healthy and active lifestyle. So I felt like it was something that we could get behind. You know, you, you know it's funny, Larry, because um, I've gone to Smoothie Kings all over the country. Mm-hmm. And you know, you, I smooth- got my Smoothie King app. Hey, look, <laughs> I remember when Smoothie King used to have those small little cards and they punch it every time. Yep. And then when you get like eight drinks, you get one Back for free. Days, yep. But this is one of the things that I've always been very curious about from that standpoint. How open was entry into that space when you guys reached out to smoothie king to inquire about franchise opportunities was Mm -hmm. it something that they were inviting is it something that they help you out with especially if it's your first time Mm -hmm. or is there some things that were challenging that you weren't expecting when you actually started out on the venture um (laughs) we first inquired about smoothie king i sent the email out probably in 2014 and so um I got emailed back and I was like, oh wow, like we're not ready yet. <laughs> and so then um, we waited a few years, inquired about it again in 2016, okay. and Smoothie King was like, yeah, the air is is, um, is finally ready for you guys. Perfect. And so, but our our journey wasn't as smooth, but yeah. we made it. And I think that that the Smoothie King itself, as in getting getting with their franchise they have a, 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 a pretty good uh the blueprint oh, wow, of it yeah. and just following those uh rules and regulations to, to get in i think it's pretty simple regarding that yes with the king pretty much yeah. gives you a, a handbook and all you have to do is follow it just they yeah, are very cool. observant very helping and i mean in every aspect i mean smoothie king was great because wow. you, know, you know especially coming from the real estate realm that larry and i live in that's one of the things that i'm always most curious about is how does um, franchise owners like yourself pick the areas mm-hmm. and decide where would be the best area to have your store where it'll most likely flourish and do well. So from what you ladies are explaining that Smoothie King has a process where they pretty much set you up for success, which I think is super duper important. Yeah, we had looked, when she said we had looked into into, into the late Jackson in 2014, the, um, the population wasn't ready yet. Oh, wow. So, yeah. uh, so the, the Smoothie King was like, no, it's not ready. Not and people. so the, and then there weren't enough people yet. And so then, in 2016 then because all you look down there like the dow chemical plants everything out there was actually growing bringing people and we're from there we were uh just born and raised there so every time we go home then we see growth we saw yeah. the starbucks and we started 
and the different Panda things um, popping up as right. we would go see grandma and yeah. you know family Seeing it grown, and right. so <laughs> then for us it was like you know we got to put one down here yeah. yeah that's great insight i always wondered why you ladies chose that area now i know that's yeah. what's up. okay I thought it was genius when y'all did. I was like, "Oh, that's the perfect like out in the city, so you kind of not compete with not nobody compete. but yourself in the beginning." With exactly, this because yeah. I remember a few years ago when you guys first out, I was kind of there for like the pre-lunch. I think. Yeah, so, yeah. we were there. Also, oh, Larry, you've had a smoothie from that smoothie king. I haven't been out there, but I, oh, okay, they did. Well, they, 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 they host an event here in the city. Oh, okay. Mm. Now, for all those um, residents of Lake Jackson that are gonna tune in and hear your interview this week, tell everyone, Miss Shade, where exactly in Lake Jackson is your lady store? We are located on the Target Pad site. Um, we're right next to Kane. The address is 200 West Highway 332, Lake Jackson, Texas, 77566. Perfect. And you can't perfect. miss us. And then something else I want to make sure our audience is um, crystal clear about, especially with you ladies being Smoothie King franchise owners. Um, and this is for either one of you ladies who feel most comfortable answering this question, but can we talk a little bit about the types of customers that you have? Do you guys do? Um, <laughs> no, no, and the reason why I ask that question is because I know um, there's a lot of parents out there mm -hmm. that <laughs> sponsor that baseball teams, football teams, oh, yeah. and they want to do fundraisers and have birthday parties and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. can you talk to um, the audience a little bit about what type of services from that standpoint you ladies can offer if they can't just come through the store and get one drink? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know, I'm a I'm also a softball coach. So we we, we definitely um, believe in, in the giving back right. to the community. We're active in the community. We take smoothies to the baseball team. Different thing. We, we, we um, then we we give funds to the. Um, the softball organizations right. and things like that. So we always definitely um, make it open to the community to to, to come in and just uh, and ask us for, um, for different things throughout the community. Yeah. And then um, it's funny because I don't even. Well, of course the audience doesn't know because they don't have the opportunity to see what happens before we start recording. But <laughs> I know right before we went on air, you had a um, an important business um, call that came in. Right. And I would like for you ladies to talk a little bit about um, some of the challenges where it comes to managing the employees of your store, especially when you can't be there eight hours a day, every yeah. day. I mean, I guess it just comes down to putting your aces in their places. And oh, so, wow. Mm. That's what I was saying. Um, like message. I like that. Aces in your places. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Hashtag aces, aces in the in place. Aces yeah. in their places. Like yeah. That. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to use that. Yeah, that's a popular <laughs> hashtag. Like don't it. let us interrupt <laughs> you. So I guess if if we know that neither one of us are going to be on site, then we make sure, like, our strongest leads are there. So we would um, put a person who isn't as strong working with us. Wow. And so it just it just helps keep things balanced. You know, um, well, I knew uh, Miss Alexis had athletic background, and I also had opportunity from going to your IG page to see how closely you do work with the softball team. So I want to congratulate you for doing that because Larry and I both are really big in giving back to the youth. Mm -hmm. And then that sports arena, what I've learned through my experiences working with children at that age is that sometimes that physical activity is where they can express themselves and they have the most confidence. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of times where you're dealing with kids where they're their most outgoing, mm -hmm. whereas in any other environment, they'll be really closed off and shy. Right. So that's something that I want to go into with both of you ladies when we come back from our break, because when we come back, I want to talk to you a little bit about your life before franchise ownership mm -hmm. and your life before entrepreneurship and being the successful business women that you've evolved into, if you don't mind. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Sounds, sounds good. Absolutely. Everyone, we're going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors, but please stay tuned to the Prime Real Estate Network. <laughs> this is Rick Davis, realtor and host of the Prime Real Estate Network. Are you currently leasing or looking to relocate to the Houston area and you find yourself falling in love with the home but aren't quite in a position to purchase? Well, no worries. We offer the Right to Purchase program. We can place you in the home of your dreams at current market rental rates and give you up to three years to buy. Did you know that a majority of the homes that are for sale offer better quality than those that are for rent? So why wait? Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let me and my team help you purchase a home that you and your family can fall in love with. 
Give me a call today at 832-928-3963. And remember to follow the Prime Real Estate Network podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be blessed. Ladies, are you looking to learn more about football? Well, go out today and grab your copy of the Grandsberry Gridiron Guide. It's the perfect comfort book with quick tips on football, fan life, and tailgating. Just go to thegrandsberry.com and grab your copy today. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast, man. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. It's a great to be here with you this week. We've had a really exciting interview so far. As always, my co-host is the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks. What's going on, brother? Hey, man. You know, another beautiful show. Great episode. I'm excited to hear what these ladies have to say about their progress into becoming owners. So, hey, look, yeah. I'm doing everything I can to establish me a smoothie connect. You know what I'm saying? I need we that. Got you. you need you need that in your phone at all times. But um, if you didn't see the first half of our show, where were you? But for everybody who's tuned in, man, I want to reintroduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience, Miss Alexis and Sade Moore, franchise owners with Smoothie King. How you doing, ladies? Doing good. Doing Thank great. you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks okay, for Okay, see watching. now, in the first half of our interview. <laughs> We kept it strictly business. Strictly we talked. Oh man, we talked <laughs> oh about. Boy. We talked about the ins and outs of smoothies <laughs> and smoothie entrepreneurship and franchise ownership. But in the second half, I want to ask both of you ladies a little bit about your life before entrepreneurship, your life before you were business owners, because um, what Larry and I have both observed over time is that sometimes when people meet, especially successful businesswomen like yourselves, they just see this finished product. Mm-hmm. and they don't have an idea or they undervalue the evolutionary stages right. that it took to get to this point. So I'll start with you, Miss Alexis. What was your life like before you decided to delve into entrepreneurship and business ownership? Um, I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to try to. So as, as I said, we went to... But, I actually went to TSU on a basketball scholarship, played there, got my degree and background in... Uh, accounting oh, wow. and so I had worked in the oil and gas field 10 years ever since college basically got out started working in oil and gas mm-hmm. and then still did my health and fitness journey and then come five years later um, I got pregnant with my daughter um, had my daughter and so if you've been in the oil and gas industry you know when it's up it's up and it's great but when it's bad it's bad, bad yeah. and so we had hit um, the, the bad spot my company got bought out I, I had ended up getting um, a severance package at that same time I was pregnant with my daughter and having her and so it was right after right after I had my daughter that I found myself on on um, food stamps. I didn't have a job, looking for a job. I was in the bad um, mental space. I was just not, you know, where I came from. I'm I'm the big sister, right? So I mm-hmm. always felt like it's my job to be there for my sister when she went to school, taking care of her, sending her money. I always felt like that was my role. And so when I couldn't do that, I almost felt like um, lost myself within that. And so it was a moment that I was actually standing in the food stamp line and I got a coke I had a coke machine I'll tell the story yeah. and the coke machine the rim on the um the actual coke it was so dirty and in that moment I said to myself it's not how I got here but how I'm going to get out and never come back yeah. wow. and so it was then that I started the the self uh the self uh n- 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 the development journey right. and building myself back up and then um, getting to be that the big sister that I felt like I was supposed to be. That's what's up. No, you know, it's funny because when you hear these type of stories, especially when it's another person involved like your sister Sade, you don't always have an opportunity to see both sides of the looking glass. Mm-hmm. So, Miss Sade, I'd like to ask you, when your sister was going through these challenges, what is it as a younger sister did you see? and that you believe helped her to pull herself back up and get her back to a positive space where she could be back in that leadership position. Because I'm the oldest amongst my brothers, so Mm -hmm. there's a certain pressure of leadership that you feel. 
So as the younger sister, what is it that you see that you believe helped to get your sister back in that strong place that you always knew she should be in? Um, I think I've, I've always seen her as a strong, independent woman. So the, the person who, who sh- she thinks the world saw her as in that moment, I didn't see her in that light. Wow. And um, I remember one day she asked me, she was like, sister, if you could say one word about me, what would it be? And I said, resilient. I was like, I've seen your struggle. I've seen where cry. you come from. <laughs> and so I know your story. And I go so for that every week, Larry. That's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for the tears. <laughs> go ahead, Miss Shani. I'm just so, joking. So um, I just, I know her story. And um, I was there to actually witness her story. And so I'm just, I'm just proud of where we are today. And as a follow-up, I want to make sure I ask you this as well, Sade. Is there a member of your family, um, close or extended, that was an entrepreneur that might have sh- um, shown themselves as an example when you guys were growing up? Because, you know, a lot of times in your life, life moves so fast, it's not until you can smell the roses that you start to reflect yeah. and realize who had certain influences over you. There's someone that was in your immediate circle as you guys were growing up that you um, would like to credit from that standpoint? Yes, absolutely. Um, my my family has a, a nonprofit organization. It's called Educate Seven, and um, it's a, it's founded uh, by my mother and her sisters. And so it's it's in the name of my grandmother. And so what it stands for is that um, our family gives seven scholarships to, um, to to individuals that are in the Brazoria County community. Oh, wow. And so I I think that was um, was part of our growth throughout our process. You know, that's um, that's deep because there's no way that without asking you that particular question that I would have been able to gain that insight without having a real deep um, background into your family. And I want to ask you this, Miss Alexis, because your story is something that is unique to your journey. But you'll be surprised how many entrepreneurs and businesswomen that have sat in that same chair that have talked about being right there on that line and having to make a decision on how they want their life to go. So is there any advice that you could give to someone that was in your position at that time to help motivate them to like get off the sideline and get into the game? Because everyone needs that extra boost of confidence if it's not internal. Mm -hmm. They need that exterior motivator. So is there any advice that you could give to someone that might have been in that same position? Yeah, absolutely. I'm really big on, as I said, the the self development right and um, I think it was Joyce Myers that, that I actually heard say that it's what you feed longest becomes strongest what mm. you feed longest becomes strongest when you feed yourself the word the um, the motivational stuff um, reading the books and so that that builds the the self confidence yes. and the word says that we're to be bold and, and courageous you can't be it's not all about i just think nowadays the women looking cute it's the courage it's the courage to go after the business plan it's it's the courage to go into the bank and ask for three hundred thousand dollars, four hundred thousand dollars, and the only way you, the only way you develop that kind of courage is to one read the word in faith. We have a big, big, big faith family, and then it's believing in yourself that you can do it. My favorite scripture, I'm sorry, my favorite scripture is greater is he that's within you than he that's within the world. So mm. it's it's you finding that greater person that's within you and bringing that person out and then you're able to have whatever you have whatever you want to have like the sky's the limit then you know um one of the things that i was most impressed upon that was most impressed me when i did my research on you ladies is that larry and i we know a lot of people especially through business and real estate and everyone has siblings for the most part there aren't as many single children as you would like to think but Everyone who has a sibling doesn't decide to go into business Mm -hmm. with their sibling. So this question is for you, Ms. Sade. Could you share with our audience the value that you found in incorporating and working alongside your older sister? And um, what advice can you give them if they were thinking about doing something with a member of their family? 
Um, I would say growing up, I think it was very, very important for my dad um, that Alexis and I be as, as close as we are today. And I guess growing up with a speech impediment, which, which we both have, um, it was, he didn't want it to be a handicap for us. Like he didn't want it to control or dictate our life. And so, um, with that, like our, our, our bond is like no, no other, because we're the only ones who can, who can relate, um, as, as far as, um, as far as public speaking goes. And so, um, we've we've never had had any rivalry, any any um, any type of competition. I mean, we were always each other's biggest fan. I mean, mm-hmm. we just always supported each other. And so, in the workplace, it kind of it kind of I guess balances out because she's the sweet one and who everyone goes to, <laughs> and I'm so um, a Are little you? bit more <laughs> like. Not oh, so. Okay. She's the mean sister at the uh, in okay. the company. She's the mean sister. That's not true. And I'm okay. The okay. So <laughs> she's the fire and you're the ice. Yeah, that part. Yeah. That part. <laughs> that part. You know, man. Uh, I'm so impressed with how you all have been able to establish a corporation and build upon it, while still being able to maintain that close family bond and not let the stresses of being business owners mm. affect that. Because you know. They always say, hey, man, there. you know, uh, you think you know somebody <laughs> until you put some money in that's front right. of them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that's one of the things that I always wanted to make sure you guys had a chance to illustrate for our audience is because there are people now that are so focused on their own professional and financial journeys that they don't even consider those in their close inner circle mm-hmm. as people who could contribute and help them build something bigger, faster and stronger. Mm -hmm. So I hope that you ladies serve as um, a great example and inspiration for everyone else that may see today's episode from that standpoint. So I want to thank you ladies for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank Thank you for having us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, No doubt. doubt. Mr. Brooks, man. What um, what do you do? You know I got (laughs) to ask you this every week, bro. (laughs) But what you got going, man, is there anything you can share publicly or do we got to talk off the clock? You know what, man? (laughs) 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 Funny thing is, is it's a good friend of mine, a childhood friend, a partner in the Pure Hustle brand. He's celebrating his birthday this weekend. So I'm excited excited about that man i'm one of those guys that find enjoyment in helping and celebrating people my friends birthdays that's the biggest deal too matter of fact we have a running joke he and i i've celebrated his birthday harder than mine in the past so <laughs> um, i'm excited about that it's his birthday weekend so oh, no, i absolutely man enjoy it man tell him happy birthday get it how you live make the day his all that good stuff ladies before you leave i want to um, thank you for carving time out your busy schedule because as I can see, your phone never going to stop blowing up. So <laughs> make, make real decisions. So I want to make yeah. sure we get you back to the hustle. But um, is there anything um, that you would like to share with the audience before we um, leave? Is there anything that you ladies are organizing? Are there any Zoom meetings? Or how can each and every member of our audience follow you on Instagram? Just share your handles for us if you don't mind. Um, yeah, you can follow me at uh, Alexis Moore at a more fit body that's two o's a m o o r e f i t b o d y and on there you'll you'll be able to go to my to my website i actually i um, actually do the health coaching side and in the fitness training right you got to have mind body and soul so you know the fitness training works on the the physical part and then the health coaching is helping you to actually live a, a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely, man. So everyone, follow Miss Alexis. And Miss Shade, how can they follow you on Instagram? You can follow me at daybird1500. And I don't do half as much on Instagram as my sister does. <laughs> I don't have anything on there, but feel free to follow me. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I want to thank both you ladies, man. This has been a... Um, great episode your energy and aura is something that i'm sure that everyone in the audience can feel so i want to thank you so much for your time mr brooke before we sign off man is there anything you want to share with the people bro good night (laughs) everyone (laughs) man (laughs) as always if you need anything from a residential or commercial real estate perspective i'm only a call text im dm or carry your pigeon away so definitely do not hesitate to reach out to me or mr brooks or anyone at brooks and davis real estate firm On behalf of myself and the Texas Real Estate King, I want to thank everyone for tuning in this week. We'll see you all next Thursday, and be blessed.
Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm LLC is marketing a property for sale right now that you can buy. These properties range from land lots for under $20,000 to move-in ready homes $500,000 and more, along with everything in between. To see this week's list of properties for sale you can buy now, go to bit.ly backslash BDREF weekly list. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash BDREF weekly list. If you plan on selling some real estate and you need it on the weekly list, call 713-665-8329 to speak with someone about it.